Not every trade always works out well for both sides. Can you hand, hand Russell Wilson a quarter of a billion dollars? Like, I'm sorry, like, the Denver Broncos got suckered in this whole thing by, by the Seattle Seahawks. It's time to reflect on the many blockbuster trades of the offseason. So, let's return to report card season and hand out new grades for the 12 biggest trades of the 2022 NFL offseason. Russell Wilson heads to Mile High City. Broncos country, let's ride. When we first graded this trade, we gave the Denver Broncos an A+. We thought he was the final piece needed to help the Broncos make the jump to Super Bowl contention. My mistake. Wilson cannot take all the blame for what went wrong in Denver. I mean, Nathaniel Hackett didn't even last an entire season. Losing standout running back Javante Williams and wideout Tim Patrick put a huge dent in this offense, and the O-line was in shambles all year. Maybe a new head coach and a rebuilt O-line will help Wilson rebound in 2023, but for now, this looks like a disaster for Denver. Wilson signed a five-year, $245 million extension before playing his snap for the Broncos, who now lack the draft capital to rebuild their roster. Roster. Grade D minus for the Broncos. If you're the Seahawks, hey, congrats on getting the A plus. John Schneider hit home runs with Charles Cross, Kenneth Walker, Abraham Lucas, Kobe Bryant, and Tariq Woolen picks. So we know this rebuild is on the right track. Geno Smith put together a very good first season in the Pacific Northwest. The Hawks will have to decide if he's worthy of a long-term investment, but he at least kept him in playoff contention all year long and outplayed Wilson by a country mile. With two first-round picks in 2023, Seattle is in a great position to return to contention very soon. Devontae Adams to the Raiders The Las Vegas Raiders traded 2022 first and second round picks to the Green Bay Packers for star wideout Devontae Adams, who then signed a lucrative five-year extension. Adams may have set the Raiders' single-season record for receiving yards, but this trade did not put the Raiders over the top as they had hoped. Looking back, GM Dave Ziegler should have kept his draft picks and used the money he handed to Adams to rebuild a leaky offensive line and horrendous defense. And now, Derek Carr is on his way out of Sin City. So much for Carr and Adams playing together long term here. Now at least the future Hall of Famer put up good stats, so the Raiders get a C instead of a flat out F. The Packers use their 2022 first rounder from Vegas on linebacker Quay Walker, who is looking like a key long term building block on that defense. They also found a future star wide out in Christian Watson with the number 34 pick, and he really elevated the offense once he got healthy. Having Adams all season long could have helped Green Bay avoid a mega first half slump on offense though, so we're gonna give him a B for now. But we could look back on this as an A plus home run move a year or two from now. Chiefs send Tyree Kill to Dolphins. Okay, we're gonna keep this one short and sweet. It's an A-plus trade for both the Kansas City Chiefs and the Miami Dolphins. In the offseason, Miami acquired Cheetah from Miami in exchange for 2022 first, second, and fourth rounders to go along with 2023 fourth and sixth rounders. Hill then signed a four-year, $120 million extension with Miami. Hill and Jalen Waddle formed the NFL's best receiving duo of 2022, helping to attack Bailoa enjoy a breakout year. Kansas City used the money they could have given to Hill to bring in Juju. Smith-Schuster, and Marquez Valdi-Scantling. And the result? Well, Mahomes' best statistical season since his 2018 MVP year. The Chiefs' offense remains as good as ever without Hill. For Miami, their offense reached a whole new level with the perennial pro bowler joining the offense. So, everyone gets an A-plus from us. Draft Day stunner, A.J. Brown joins the Eagles' flock. On draft day, the Tennessee Titans dealt superstar wideout A.J. Brown to the Philadelphia Eagles for the number 18 and 101 selections of the draft. Philly then handed Brown a four-year extension worth $100 million. This one, too, can be kept short and sweet. Brown became Philly's top wideout and helped Jalen Hurts turn in an MVP-like season, and the Eagles are back among the NFC's elite. So, A-plus for the Eagles. The Titans, on the other hand, endured a brutal second-half collapse due to largely an inept passing game that had... <coughs> zero reliable game-changing pass catchers this season. The Titans fired GM John Robinson mid-season, and we kind of see why now. You just don't trade a young superstar in his prime for essentially lottery tickets. Tennessee used its first rounder from Philly on Traylon Burks, who has a long way to go in matching Brown's production. This all adds up to an F for the Titans. Too bad there's no mulligan on NFL trades. 
Colts swap Rock Yasin for Yannick Ngakwe with Raiders. In March, the Colts traded away 2019 second round pick Rock Yasin to the Las Vegas Raiders for pass rusher Yannick Ngakwe in a one for one swap. Ngakwe had a better career production at the time of the trade, but with the Raiders signing superstar Chandler Jones, it made sense to deal the former cornerback for help. Jones was a mega bust in year one with the Raiders, and Yasin really didn't do much to fix Vegas' awful pass defense. So, Vegas is gonna get an F here. As for Indy, well, this season was an absolute letdown and disaster in every aspect. But Ngakwe was their best pass rusher this year, so we're gonna give him an easy A. Swapping a mediocre starter for a Pro Bowl caliber talent is a nice small victory here for GM Chris Ballard. Panthers take a chance on Baker Mayfield. The top pick of 2018 became expendable once the Cleveland Browns completed a trade for Deshaun Watson. And after a long wait, the Browns finally gave Mayfield a fresh start and sent him to the Carolina Panthers for a conditional 2024 draft selection. Cleveland also agreed to pay $10.5 million of Mayfield's salary, with the Panthers paying only $4.85. For a team in desperate need of a starting QB, it was a low-risk move with a potentially high reward. Uh, or not. Mayfield really never got his game going in Carolina. He lost 5 to 6 starts and completed only 57.8% of his pass attempts for 1,313 yards and 6 touchdowns against 6 picks. The Panthers proceeded to waive Mayfield, who was picked up by the Los Angeles Rams after they lost Matt Stafford for the season. Backups PJ Walker and Sam Darnold both played better than Mayfield in 2022. And honestly, Carolina probably wins the NFC South if they rolled at the QB duo from week 1 onward. So, we're giving them an F for the Mayfield trade. Cleveland, on the other hand, is getting a D- grade from us because, well, they probably should have kept Baker as insurance until Watson actually returned from suspension. The Browns went 4-7 in games without Watson, so it's not crazy to think that they could have gone at least 6-5 with Mayfield there. Cowboys deal Amari Cooper to Browns in salary dump. Needing to clear cap room, the Dallas Cowboys traded Pro Bowl wideout Amari Cooper to Cleveland for a 2022 fifth rounder. The two sides also swapped their sixth round picks in the draft. Though the Cowboys had another great season under Mike McCarthy, you can't help but wonder how much better this offense could be with Cooper still in the fold. They should have kept him over the injury prone Michael Gallup, whom Jerry Jones essentially chose instead of Cooper. Consistent 1,000 yard wideouts don't grow on trees, and CeeDee Lamb is the only game racking receiver on this offense. So we're going to give Dallas enough for selling low on Cooper and choosing Gallup over him. The Browns, on the other hand, well, they're getting an A-plus from us. It only cost a fifth-round pick for a man who's tuned in another 1,000-yard season with relative ease. A perfect replacement for Jarvis Landry as the new WR1 in Cleveland. This was a huge win for Andrew Barry in what was essentially a lost season for the Browns. Commanders take a swing on Carson Wentz. This trade seemed like a huge risk at the time, and, well, it didn't even take a full season for us to realize that this was a mistake for Washington. The always QB needy squad paid a hefty price to the Colts for the injury prone and inconsistent QB. 2022 and 2023 third round picks, plus a swap of 2022 second rounders, with Washington dropping down five spots. Washington did also get a 2022 seventh rounder with the trade, though. Wentz lost four of his first six starts at the Commanders, once again struggling with accuracy and turnovers. After he went down at the broken finger, backup Taylor Heineke stepped in and helped Washington make a strong second half push, only to fall just short of the postseason. Trading that much capital for a guy who's not even a top 20 starting QB is interesting to say the very least. Sure enough, it backfired, so the Commanders are getting enough. Now, Matt Ryan was probably worse in 2022 than Wentz, but the pick Indy got from Washington eventually landed them promising whiteout Alec Pierce. Plus, it's simply miraculous that they got that many picks for a mediocre signal caller, so put them down for a solid A here. Marquise Brown reunite with Kyler Murray. Looking to add another weapon to their dynamic offense, the Arizona Cardinals landed Marquise Hollywood Brown from the Baltimore Ravens and the number 100 selection in exchange for the number 23 pick. Brown was unhappy in his role with the Ravens and sought a fresh start. Brown ended up missing five games to injury, and Murray was limited to 11 games. So we didn't get to see much of these two in action, and the Cardinals were one of football's worst teams of 2022. This could go down as a win of a trade down the road, but for right now, Arizona gets a C-. For Baltimore, well, we'll give them a B+. They still have no playmaking wideouts to accommodate star tight end Mark Andrews, but they turned the pick from Arizona into 
to Tyler Linderbaum, who looks like a future All-Pro center. Not a bad return for a receiver that didn't want to be there anymore. Falcons trade Matt Ryan to the Colts. After failing to land Deshaun Watson from the Browns, the Falcons had no choice but to trade the best QB in franchise history. GM Terry Fontenot sent him to the Colts for a 2022 third round pick. The trade left Atlanta with a 40.525 million dead money charge for 2022. Uh, but it was long overdue for this team to enter a rebuild. Sure, Atlanta got uneven play from Marcus Mariota and rookie Desmond Ritter, but they had to stop trying to squeeze out 7 to 8 win seasons with an aging QB. The Ryan trade finally put them on a proper rebuilding path, which is why we're gonna give them an A. As for the Colts, I mean, do we really need to explain this? F minus. Frank Reich lost his job. Jeff Saturday, hilariously, was named the replacement. Ryan was the starter when the Colts blew a 33 point lead to the Minnesota Vikings in week 15, which was the largest comeback in NFL history. Yeah, back to the drawing board for a new QB. Browns go all in for Deshaun Watson. Despite all the disturbing and gruesome allegations and lawsuits against Watson, the Browns acquired him and a 2024 fifth rounder from the Houston Texans in exchange for 2022, 2023, and 2024 first, a 2023 third rounder, and a 2024 fourth rounder. The Browns then handed Watson a five-year deal worth a fully guaranteed $230 million. They alienated a ton of their fans, showed they have zero morals, and got very lackluster play out of Watson following his suspension. Based on what we saw after one year, this can only be a D-minus grade for Cleveland. Houston gets an A-plus for moving on from a QB who set a trade a year earlier. Plenty of draft capital to accelerate the rebuild, plus they're about to get CJ Stroud or Bryce Young. Both are capable of becoming better NFL QBs than Watson ever was. Chargers land Khalil Mack from the Bears. One of the very few 2022 blockbusters that actually ended up as a win-win. The Los Angeles Chargers acquired 2016 Defensive Player of the Year Khalil Mack from the Chicago Bears for a 2022 second rounder and a 2023 sixth rounder. With Chicago in rebuilding mode, it was wise to move on from the productive, albeit aging and expensive sack specialist. The pick from LA turned into stud safety Jaquan Brisker, who has future All-Pro written all over him. Mack carried the Chargers front seven, with Joey Bosa out for most of the year, leading the Bolts to their first play off birth in four years. So we are given both sides an A plus year. Happy New Year's Chargers and Bears fans. But how would you grade the biggest trades of the 2022 NFL offseason? Join us in the comment section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.